Hello guys, this is Blair from Nexo POS Dev Team. Today I'm going to introduce the new the new release of Nexo POS, including uh, Gas Crew, and I hope you will enjoy this. I've been working on this new update for many weeks. Actually, it was really complex. I was doing some refactoring, and I've also included some new change over the UI and make the process more simpler for most of users okay so i'm going to show you what has changed and we will go from the from the beginning so here i have some sample setup i will set up the a new installation of nexo so nexo pos so now set up the database and save setting okay so now we, we will proceed by setting up the the application name uh, let me input post next of post the username admin my email uh, some passwords and then continue to dashboard after the after having set up the application you will go to the login page where you will provide your username and your password so here I have already provided my username so all I have to do now is just remember me maybe and signing okay okay the first page you see is the welcome page i think that most of you have seen this page before uh it's basically uh, a place where you can enable the demo or you can just say no thanks that's you also have some video to see how the the sale process is working but i'm today i'm going to show you how uh, the process is working so for now i'll just say no thanks and i will access to the dashboard okay this is actually what we call a better version. That means it's not yet it's not yet complete. Uh, I was working on the on some new wider system, and the update is still ongoing. But the widget has been disabled for now. Uh, it will be uh, enabled later. So uh, if you have a fresh installation of Nexo POS, you will see this uh, notification. This where you you have to activate your copy. So I will and nap next so data and activate some some license so i go to the module and see i see uh, and here i see next so pass updater i have this and then i will input some license okay so Okay, so the license is enabled, so we can see uh, this message which tell you that okay everything is okay. Well, um, now we are going to see the new change of uh, Nexo POS first before having a look at what has changed on Gastro. So I, I will first go back to our support our support team and we will see some new uh, you will see some new message where I've added the change and the fix. Okay, the first thing I've added to introduce your new road API. Okay, this is something that you cannot uh, directly see on the system, but I've made some huge change over the system to make it more faster. Uh, I wanted the script to run really faster and maybe hope that you will see the difference between your release and the current update. Okay, so the next is escape it site name. Okay, on some JavaScript, uh, code there was some uh, problem when people was using um, some complex name for their store uh, the script was just crashing and this this is the fix that I've added okay the next one is switch to next so to tendo 3.2.0 uh, that's zero okay so that's this new release is a new tendo version it's based is using the letters can do CMS version and uh, which is actually the 3.2.0 okay the next one is new editor for grocery recruit okay so grocery recruit has been old for many for many months we've been using some old UI and I've made some small change over that because I wanted people to feel really um, comfortable when they are creating they are creating some component okay so uh, let me go back to some basic Grocery recruit UI maybe for the category so select um, add a category you see this uh, editor has changed uh, it's not the old one that you used to see before so this one uh, that's the change that I've made over the grocery recruit so the next one is new permission for Nexo POS okay most of 
the users was complaining about the permission available on, on Nexo POS. They were saying that there is no more much permission and we don't have the, the capacity to create or uh, to manage correctly all permissions. So your wish has been heard and I've created some, I've updated the permission module. So I will show you that right now. We have the, um, we have the permission manager here. So let me enable this module. When you enable this module, you go to the user, manage user, you see manage permission. And here you will see a list, a new table. This one is a new table of all permission available. You can uh, see uh, a list on the side, on the left side, you see a list of all permission available. And you will see uh, each column has actually a permission, a role name. You have the master group, the admin group, the user group, the cashier, and so on. You can then uh, select you can check a box, you can check a box to enable the permission for this group or you can disable it and when you set, you just click here, save permission. You can also search for some permission and you can adjust the permission as well. That's so simple. Okay. So the next one is creation experience. Okay. So we've, I've added some new, uh, new a notification when somebody is creating some component you may be creating something and a error occur but you don't understand what this error means actually that's why when you're creating maybe a category so let's go back again to the category inventory add a category okay so let me try to submit it like that okay you see here, there is a notification on the top which says the form field has an error. Please check it and try again. Okay, so now you know that there is an error on the form and you can check the form. You will see some, uh, some error here. This, the category name field is required. So that's a change from the old version. And I think that with that, most people will uh, understand where the issue come from. Okay, so the next one is categories category scroll uh, on pause. Okay, so one of my one of my customer and friends, Ferran, uh, has submitted some issue when he was using the pause system. There was, he has many categories for a restaurant and sometimes when he was trying to scroll, some category was not uh, visible on the, um, on, on the pause. Even if he, whatever he tried to do, he was not able to click on this category. So I've fixed this problem. Most of you were, were not facing this problem, but he was facing this problem. That's why I fixed it, I fixed it, this issue. Okay, the next one is update Nexo Premium and all the older measure, all the older module to ensure compatibility with 10.3.2. Okay, basically what does that mean? It's mean that all module included on Nexo POS has been updated to to be uh, compatible with 10.3.2. So next one, introducing a new widget system. Yeah, not over, not yet over. Yeah, like I told you, as I told you before, this new widget system is not yet over. So I will add a, uh, an update and then you will, you will have it on your system soon. So the next one is supply screen, remove title, which is no more required. Okay, most of, most of my customers say that they are not using the, um, for the supply, they are not using a title. Okay, they don't you don't need it. So this is how the news the supply uh, UI look like now. You have only the search the search field where you can search an item, and you have the the, the provider drop down and complete operation. After that, you have the receipt. For the supply, I will create a new tutorial where you will see how it's working actually. Okay, so and. We go ahead with um, bulk delete for grocery truth. Okay, this is this has been one of the most requested feature for Nexo POS. I've added some new change over the UI. I think that's well, that makes uh, Nexo POS more uh, usable, more uh, user friendly. Okay, so let's start with some category. Okay, let me create maybe category category one and then submit add a category again category two submit okay you will see now on all grocery crew table there is a checkbox where you can select an item 
okay when you click there you can select all items together and you can proceed to the bulk delete like this that's basically how that's basically most of the one of the biggest change over grocery truck module and i think that you will love it and also uh, i've made some slight change over the list let me show you that again so i'll create a category again category one and save and go back to the list here you will see an option this is one is different from what we had before because uh, on the past we had some big button uh, it was not really uh, user friendly because for those who was using this system on mobile it was really complex to to click on this item and uh, the layout was really uh, unusable so i think that from now you will see uh, this one is more uh, is the use for most of the users and i think you you will like it okay the next one is translation of terms okay translation of terms is like uh when i i'm adding new feature i'm doing it in french because you know i'm a french guy and when i'm done with the with the feature i have to translate it every time that's why that's uh what i'm saying here and the last one is fix store access button yeah that's the that's a, a shortest a shorter feature which has been uh, a shorter issue which has been fixed on the store on the store management okay that's basically that's basically all what has changed on next of us i will create a new tutorial for gas crew and you also see uh, what has changed on gas crew thank you for watching this